Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Carly Nari and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection. It has been an ongoing request to talk about what do I have on this shelf. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what it is. What do I have? I break them down according to notes or sections. So there's amber, there's nutty fragrances, coconut fragrances, chocolate, Middle Eastern, so forth, so on. So we're going to slowly go through them, or should I say video to video, I'm going to break them down to the ones that I have in each section. So for everyone who has asked, what do you have in your collection, Claudia? These videos are for you. All right, so let's talk about black currant. My first black currant is going to be C. Flore. This one here, I know is discontinued, so uh, of course you know that I'm going to keep that one in my collection. But the opening to this is black currant, green mandarin, and rose. It is such a pretty scent. It is a very pretty scent. If you have C. Flore in your collection, keep it until you use it up, right? Because uh, it's so hard to find right now. And if you can find it, it's at a ridiculously high price. But I have C. Flore. My next one I have is, is uh, was actually a recommendation from Lulu here on YouTube. And it was a good one. This one, look at the top. Ain't that beautiful? This one here is Almaz. Um, Almaz has black currant, bergamot. You're going to get some orange notes, raspberry. Like the notes in it is amazing. Turkish rose, brown sugar. It's such a beautiful scent. And Drama Shop right now has a dynamic sale <laughs> going on. I'll make sure that I link my discount code in the description below so that you can save 10% if you go to drama shop but i want to say you can get this for such a good price right now okay what's the collection that doesn't have a mancera in it <laughs> so this one is wild fruits it is uh it has kumquat kumquat is in the opening kumquat citrus lemon uh so it's like a really citrus burst in the top part of it then it turns into this gorgeous, like a bowl of fruit, like a fruit cocktail bowl of fruit, right? Then of course it has the black currant, the peach, apple, and violet in it. It's such a beautiful, fruity fragrance, like very nice, very nice. Uh, this was one of the ones when I was looking for uh, wild cherry. Uh, I got it as a gift. I got wild fruit and I was not disappointed with it. It just happened to not be the one that I was interested in. But I still enjoyed it. Wild Fruit is a really good one. And of, of course, Mancera's right now, I want to say it's under $100. My next one is 144 Blossom. 144 Blossom is, uh, to me, it's just a really pretty scent. It has apricot in it. And I'm going to do a video about apricot. Um, cause I, because of this fragrance, to be truthfully honest, is what led me to want to get more apricot in my collection. Uh, but yes, it has apricot, black currant, and raspberry, and a pear note, and peony. So it's a very nice, fresh scent. Uh, this is not one that you're going to get a long longevity from. It's just a really nice, fresh scent. Uh, it has blossom in it, uh, so yes, it does have peony, lily, rose, and jasmine in it, but I find that the floralness of this fragrance is not front and center. Um, mostly, it's just fruity. So that rounds off my black currant. No, I'm sorry. I have one more. I almost forgot this one. I don't know how I forgot it. This one is, and you can't even see the name anymore. That's how long I've had it. It is so macerated and good right now. That is Alma Farmagomo by uh, Salvatore Farmagomo. It is gorgeous. It's one of those fragrances. It started off and it was purple. <laughs> That's really how long I've had it. That is golden now, right? 
It started off like a light, light lilac purple color. Uh, and I liked it then. I love it now, right? So sometimes fragrances do need to macerate. Uh, it has a uh, like a very floral opening to it that can be off-putting a little bit. Um, Compare, I want to say that is. And then the black currant comes in in the rhubarb, but then you still have like rosemary and jasmine. Uh, don't give up on the fragrance. If you do find it and it's that light purple color, just know that it will get better. It's going to get so good and you're going to just wish you still had it. So if you got it and it's not your fragrance yet, give it some time. You're going to fall in love with it. All right, my next uh, fragrance is going to be Fig. I love Fig fragrances. Um, so my very first one, I don't even know if you can still get this one, is Dream Woods. Dream Woods uh, by Gallia was actually in, uh, made by a YouTuber. Uh, forgive me, I cannot think of the name of the YouTuber. Uh, but it didn't work out. Him and the company did not work out. So they end up selling these like for $59. They was just trying to get rid of their stock. Uh, but I had already bought it prior to when it first came out, I bought it. I was tempted to get a backup for it, but I didn't. Dream Woods is ginger, bergamot, juniper berry, lavender, and fig, right? So that's what makes it unisex. But then what turns it into where it can be worn by a woman, you're going to get quince, tonka bean, vanilla, and like this patchouli leaf like this nice sexy must to it but that opening in it that ginger and uh, jennifer berries and fig is like the gooey fig the um not a dry fig not the leaf but like a nice gooey fig one of one of my best purchases uh for fig i really did enjoy dreamwoods um hoping that i'm not going to regret not getting a backup for it <laughs> but I just felt like I had enough fragrances I didn't need to do backups my next one in fig is going to be wow fig in Casa um, what can I say about this one it's it does it like a disappearing act I will admit on my skin uh, I can't smell it <laughs> anymore but people can, and that's why it's still in my collection. Uh, and people enjoy it. They enjoy it. They say I smell really clean and, and good, but I can't smell it after two hours. Uh, the opening to it is grass, so it does have like a greenish note. Uh, but the good part is that that does not last for very long. Uh, it goes into fig and cherry, and then you get this jasmine and amber note to it. It's, it's a really fresh out the shower clean fig. That fig that's in this one here is a greeny fig. It's a um, maybe fig leaf is what I would say, uh, an unripe fig. But like I said, it's, it's a beautiful scent. Uh, my only hesitancy for it is that it does not last to me. I become very um, nose blind to it, but people smell it on me. So that's hence why it's still there. It's still in my collection. Uh, this one here is Fig Ecstasy. You have to like a dry fig to get that one. Uh, it says Fig Nectar, but to me, it's a dry fig. And it could be the incense and ginger, which is kind of spicy and smoky. That's also in it uh, in black pepper that kind of takes it away from like a gooey fig note. Um, uh, it, it can lean masculine. I will say that it can lean masculine. That is a fragrance that often um, I'll spray on my husband too. Uh, I don't dislike it. I'm, I'm, I just got it not even a couple of months back. So I'm going to let it kind of macerate. And hopefully that fig nectar that I'm looking for will come front and center. But of course, if it does not, uh, I am not above passing it on to my husband or my sons. My next one is Wuglong, uh, Wuglong Chong. 
I never say it right. Chai. That one is it's it's a gorgeous uh Nashani fragrance. A lot of people say it's masculine, but it's not masculine on my skin. To me, it's just a really nice fresh scent. It's like a, it has a tea in it. Um and because the fig in it is in the base of it, it gives you the fig uh like a note of fig. But it's just a really nice scent. It projects beautifully in a cold or a cool breeze. So if you have this in your collection and, you, and you're trying to figure out when to actually wear it, I say on a breezy night, uh, maybe the early part of fall, take this one out. Because uh, it works gorgeous in, in a cool breeze. The nutmeg comes in, the musk comes in. Uh, it's not too fruity where a man can't wear it, uh, cause it does have orange, mandarin, and, uh, and, uh, lychee in it, but it's not too fruity that it would be, uh, feminine leaning, like too far feminine leaning. It's a true unisex fragrance. This is my Odie but goodie that I will have probably as long as I can have it, cause I cannot find this anymore. That is nude coconut fig every time i think about fig i want to take this fragrance out every time i think about coconut i want to take this fragrance out <laughs> i really enjoyed it uh it's i like the most of it is just that it's simple it's it's fig and coconut and that's why i find that i pull it out in both my coconut uh, times I have a you know, like a mindset that I want some coconut, I'll pull it out. If I say, oh, you know, I'm kind of wanting fig, I'll pull it out. It is in the section with the fig because of the fact that it is so, uh, the opening and everything stays fig base with some coconut. Uh, and it's not a coconut milk uh, coconut. It's like the coconut nectar, the actual coconut note. So that's why I have it with the figs. So that is the uh, the fig fragrances that I have in my collection. And I truly do enjoy all the ones that I have. All right, uh, I forgot one and I think I forgot it because this one does not actually stand up on its own so I went to go pull the next fragrances which we're going to talk about plum and realized that I didn't pull this one down I was like how did I forget that one this is Angel uh Ooh Carcere 2020 this is when they had the fig note in the Angel uh and so it was fig nectar praline patchouli vanilla and magnolia this is a gore just scent gorgeous scent my only takeaway is that i wish that it would stand on its own i currently have it sitting on a um a stander and when you bought it you had to get the stand and sometimes you couldn't even find the stand <laughs> to get it uh so that was my only one i don't really want my fragrances to lay flat um on my shelves because my shelves is, is are stand-up shelves uh, so that's probably why I couldn't, um, I didn't even mention this one because I don't even have it with the rest of the figs. I have it in another category. So uh, another area on my collection to make sure that it doesn't fall. But uh, let's get into plum. So my plum fragrances I have is um, Dates Delight. This is by House of Oud. I love it. <laughs> I have no other words for it, but I love it. Dates. Oh, just dates. I have it with the plums because I don't have many dates uh, enough for it to be on its own. So I did combine it with uh, my plum fragrances. It does not have plum in it, but it is in the category with my plums because like I said, this is the only date fragrances I have. But it is a gorgeous Gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. Dates, peony, cinnamon, caramel, tonka bean, uh, honey, sugar, vanilla, latamin. It is, it is, it's delicious. It's a delicious scent. Uh, so actual true plum fragrances that I have in my collection is going to be dark 
Purple by Mancera. Dark Purple by Mancera is plum, orange, red berries, musk, and, and amber. This is a good going out fragrance. Dark Plum, I'm um, purple, I, I mean, Dark Purple is a gorgeous going out fragrance. I think I always want to call it Dark Plum because it's so heavy in plum, right? The note is so heavy in plum. Uh, great going out fragrance. Gorgeous, gorgeous going out fragrance. My next one is Imperial by Navitus. It has Brazilian orange. It has a plum accord. It has cocoa cones, like a like the cone from an ice cream, right? The actual cone, that note. Think of that note. Uh, it has a uh, tonka bean. There's a gorgeous, like silky suede or smooth suede base to this fragrance. Uh, then, they, then they top it off with some coffee. It has a Java note in it um, mixed in with um, this. How do you describe it? Um, when you think of tar, you would say, oh, something kind of like strong, but it's not, it's not strong. This is such a unique blend with all those other notes that it makes it stand out. Uh, like fresh cement laid tar, right? So you're like, oh my God, that's gross, <laughs> Claudia. But no, blended together with all those other notes, amazing, absolutely amazing. And to round off my plum collection is Olympia Legend. I have gotten so many people to get Olympia Legend. It is Olympia on steroids to me because uh, it has this plum and apricot note to it. Uh, it has this salty skin, saltiness, uh, like sea salt note. They blended in some ginger flour, so it's not that spicy gin ginger. Ginger, it is more like the flower note, the blossoming flower note. And then, it, of course, it has that tonka bean, sandalwood, and amber in it. It is a perfect beach fragrance, like a nice, gorgeous beach fragrance, a beach night fragrance. Let me say that. Not on, not well, you probably can wear it during the uh, morning time where it's hot, but I think that it will work better in the evening with that breeze because it will project that fragrance all around you like a gorgeous uh, scent bubble. All right, I hope you have enjoyed it so far. We only went over uh, probably just one category in this video. i make sure that I list right here what it is that we were talking about. If you know of more fragrances that I probably need to add to my collection, or you have some fragrances that fit into this category that I haven't talked about yet, put it in the comments and let everybody else know what is in your collection. Again, this is a video to let everyone know. I'm doing several videos to what is behind me. That has been the burning question. What is behind you, Claudia? So we're going to talk about it. Stay tuned because I'm going to continue going with these type of videos. See you in the next video.